this is a great month of empties. I just, you're not gonna believe it. Hello internet, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Tori and today I have my empties for May. So yeah, this is everything I've used up in May. There are a couple declutters in here and I do count the retail value of declutters because I'm getting them out of my life. Let's just start in the order I like to go in the order I used up up this month. So the first thing I used up was a dry shampoo. Um, it's not common for me to have hair products in, but when I do use up additional hair products that's not shampoo and conditioner, I do share it. So this is the Batiste Tropical Dry Shampoo. The retail value of this is $8.99. Um, it was okay. Um, I have abundance of these left over, but I don't prefer the tropical scent. I prefer the cherry, which makes sense because it's also, that's kind of my aesthetic. So that's just, you know, ironic and funny. But yeah, um, I do need to find, I'm pretty sure this brand is not really cruelty free. If it is, let me know down below. But everything I found seems to be that it's not really proven that they are uh, cruelty free. So $8.99. Next, I used up a sample. It was a little, a little Gucci perfume. Uh, this thing was strong. This was the scent Bloom. I couldn't spray this a lot. You know, normally how you pick up a perfume, you spray it like four to five times. I sprayed this once and then I would still be smelling it. So it's good for that, but it was just too strong. And I live with someone that is very sensitive to strong perfumes, so I can't. I can't wear that. Next, I used up something that I think I will repurchase. This is the Fenty Beauty Foundation uh, Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the shade 110. I think I will repurchase this eventually, um, but I do wanna see if I can get a different color and if a different color suits me better because yes, this foundation does oxidize, but I think this one's actually too white for me. Um, which is rare so yeah I have to look into that the retail value of this is 35 bucks now we have a bunch of them um, decluttered so in the beginning of the month uh, me and my mom went through all of our nail polishes so the first thing the retail value of this is a dollar this is a GNP 90 second polish dryer uh, the lid can't even open we can't even I'm not prying it open. I tried to open it with my teeth. I know not really the best or sanitary, but I tried it um, and it still it won't open. So trash. Three sinful colors nail polishes are being decluttered. I have the shade Queen of Beauty, uh, Mint Candy, and this is like a jelly topper. And the other one is Mint Apple. So yeah, these are all being decluttered. So the retail value of of them all together is five dollars and 97 cents and then the last thing we are decluttering well the last nail polishes we are decluttering is a bunch of wet and wild polishes they came in a set around christmas and me and my mom just don't reach for them we have stuff we prefer we don't need these so the retail value of all of these is eleven dollars and 90 cents now we got some skincare items. I used up a Friedman single use uh, sparkling pear pore cleansing mask. The retail value of this is a dollar. I actually really like this. So if I ever do happen to like find a big tube of it, I definitely would uh, repurchase because it actually made my skin feel really nice. Next, I have something that it's kind of a staple now in my household, even though at the current moment I haven't been using it a lot. And that's the Clean and Clear Lemon Zesty Scrub. Okay, so yeah, this is a constant repurchase in my household. Me and my mother both use this. The retail value of this is $7.99. The next thing I used up is something that I thought I would have used up in like January. And this is the Mini Make Milk Makeup Cooling Stick. The retail value of this little guy is 15 bucks. Um, it was okay. I don't think I necessarily really need it, 
but I did enjoy it. So this is something that maybe if it's in a kit where it's cheaper, I would repurchase, but I'm not repurchasing it on its own. It's not worth the price on its own. So the next thing I used up was something that I said I was going to use up, and even if I just used it for two minutes, it's whatever. So this was the Charcoal and Rose sheet mask from, I think it was Skip the Spa. This retails for five bucks, and my face isn't that fond of it. When I used it the first time, I my face was really red and hot. Um, but when I used it the second time, it wasn't, it didn't give me any burning sensation, so maybe it was just the first mask had something bad. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to risk it again. I'm not going to repurchase these. These were a gift. The retail value of these, like I said before, is five dollars. The next three things I don't have to show because one of them's already sold and two of them are in the process of being sold. I decluttered three Jeffree Star items. I decluttered the Mint Condition Highlighter, so the retail value of that is $29. Bucks. Um, I decluttered the Dominatrix Lip Liner, the retail value of that is $16. Bucks. If anyone is interested in buying those, um, they're, I sanitize them and uh, I put them up for really cheap because I just don't want to own them anymore. Um, it is on my Depop that is linked in the description box down below. Um, and then the other thing that was already sold was an extra brand new Scandal liquid lipstick that I had brand new in the box. That was retail value at 18 bucks. So those three are out of my life. Those three are out of my life, so I don't have them to show you, but let's just keep going. My camera battery is full and it's gonna be pissed soon, so if this is like speed round, it's speed round. The next thing is this Tony Moly, the Panda Dreams So Cool Eye Stick. Um, it completely fell out of the thing, and it was like hard as a rock. So this one retailed for $12, but if I had to choose between this or the cooling stick, I would definitely prefer the cooling stick but yeah I didn't even get to use this I didn't even get to try it so that was a nice waste of 12 bucks the next thing I used up was something I knew was gonna be used up soon but didn't know when this is a bioderma I don't know it's covered in crap right now but yeah use this up this retails for $14.90 um, I don't get the Garnier Micellar Water anymore, so I switched to Bioderma, I get it off Amazon, it's cheaper that way. Now we got an empty that I've been waiting for it to be empty or start being clumpy, and that's the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara Mini. This retails for $12, and I will 100% rebuy this mini again. I mean, the wand's massive for a mini, so if you got that problem, I mean, I understand, but it lasted longer than three months, and it's still good. Next, I used up a Brigia Cosmetics Single uh, Pigment Shadow, and no, it don't blow it. This was like a lavender purple. The retail value of this is $3.75, and I did enjoy it, but this company no longer exists. I used up a lip product. I used up the CoverGirl O oh Sugar Jelly Glaze Lip Balm. I used it all the way to the bottom. I really did enjoy this. I definitely will eventually one day repurchase this. The retail price I found for it is $8.09, so... Yeah, lip balm done. Then the last empty is the Body Shop Chinese and Ginseng and Chinese Ginseng and Rice Clarifying Milky Toner. The retail value of this is 14 bucks that I could find. I don't think they make this product anymore. I got it from ATJ Maxx or Marshalls, and I really enjoyed this. Um, this is definitely something that I will try if I can find it again to repurchase something like this or similar to it, um, because I did notice that it does brighten my skin like it says it's supposed to brighten even and revitalize the skin. And I definitely did notice that. So I did enjoy this, but I want to try to find a cheaper alternative. So time for my stats. In total for the month of May, I used up a retail value of $220.59. If you don't know, my goal I have to hit every month to hit my yearly goal of $1,750. I have to use up $145.80. So I used up an additional $74.79. But I was in my bag. I had from the previous months, I was in the negatives so far for the year of $52.24. I changed that to a positive. I am now, I have a little leeway, a little reserve of $22.55. So it is 
amazing. Um, so to hit my goal for the end of the year, now I have to use up $998.45. I passed the thousand mark. In this month, I the number of products that I used up or decluttered was 30. So, so far for the year, I've used up a total of 98 products. It's amazing. I am so happy that I'm finally out of the negatives so I can just continue to focus. I have a lot of products that, especially a lot of makeup products now that are on their last leg, that I have just been waiting to be used up. I actually already have an empty for this update because I'm filming it the day it's being posted. But yeah, I'm going to get cut off. So, peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>